since my brand new UGT items are out now, make sure to purchase them. Link is in the description to both bear hoods. They are super cute and they can match your adorable Care Bear onesies that are also out in my group store right now. Go ahead and check those items out. And anyways, enjoy the video. Bye! Hey Care Bears, it's Haley here. Welcome back to another Royal High video on my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for daily Royal High videos and don't forget to tap the bell notifications to know exactly when I'm posting a brand new Royal High video for you guys. Anyways, in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about a great method and a routine to farm for the steampunk set that is on Royal High in the candy shop right now. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, if we just go over to to the shop real quick after I take off my animation and go to candy shop and we scroll down here you can see that there are new items we have the steampunk undercity sword belt the steampunk clockwork skirt and the steampunk inventor bodice so these items have just came out to the game and people are really wanting this new set it is brand new it has not been resold nothing like that so I want to give you guys a great routine a routine that will help you farm at least a little bit every day to be able to get it so here is my tips and tricks so anyways let's get into it so as we all may know if you add up the three items together it is 40,000 candies we have 10 plus 10 plus 20 is 40 plus the zeros at the end of the thousand it is 40,000 candy so if we divide 40,000 by let's say you want to farm and for this whole set within four days that means you need to farm 10,000 candies a day all you need to do 10,000 candies a day maybe like about 2k every five hours um if that doesn't sound possible for you or if your schedule is not full enough let's just double that time okay let's just do that because i know a lot of us are in school and it's a busy time so what about instead of farming 10,000 candy a day in four days let's do maybe a week okay so 40,000 divided by seven because there are seven days in a week so that is that is 5,715 candy a day. So you need to farm 5,715 candy a day for the next seven days to be able to get all of the you know steampunk items the three items um i just wanted to specifically make a video about these three items because they're like the newest and most high in demand items right now for you know the candy shop so yeah get around 5715 a day to be able to farm for the steampunk set so anyways here are my quick tips but i do have a full video up here on the screen right now of all of my other tips i have so i might not go over all of the tips in this video so definitely check out this video but i'll go over some really briefly in this video so the first tip i have is to of course use the ghost hunting method it go to blackwood manor so if we fly all the way over here through the whole entire neighborhood and reach the end of the road we will find a road leading up to the blackwood manor which has the ghosts hunting and all of that so to farm for this set i recommend going in here to get candy and only join like smaller servers or have a few of your friends join you need to find that perfect medium of around like five ish players in the game with you that are shooting the big ghosts so you can get as much candy as you can but if you get tired of that i really recommend just candy farming through trick-or-treating you can do either method and it's pretty fun you can switch between each you know way to farm and it would be very fun as well my methods for candy farming is making sure i am wearing an outfit that has roblox legs so like for example my main outfit kind of has roblox legs but i'm just going to take the shoes off anyway so let's go ahead and take off these shoes here and it's easier to pick up candy when you look like this also let me remove my name because it's tagged out but anyways as i ring the doorbell um, it's easy to get candy if you stand kind of like in the center of the stairs and the door It kind of stops the candy from falling all the way down into the street And also if it does then you could just pick it up on your way to the next house Honestly, it's not that big of a deal like see sometimes it just doesn't work 
but most of the time it does. So yeah, those are my few tips I'm going to share for this video, but there's a lot more tips I give in my longer video about, you know, how to, you know, candy farm really quickly. But anyways, that's all for today's video. I just wanted to go over how to farm for exactly this steampunk set because I'm currently farming for it right now. And I find that these methods I'm showing you guys in this routine is very helpful. I'm trying to farm 5,000 candy a day for it. And I think I'm doing pretty well right now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for daily roll high videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye Care Bears!